7.42. Now, today's the last of the Durham Light Infantry Museum will open to the public. Durham County Council says the 47-year-old building at Akeley Heads is no longer fit for purpose. More than 20,000 people joined a campaign group to fight that closure. They tried to raise the money needed to keep it open. Uh, in a moment, uh, we'll get the thoughts of, uh, he's with us on BBC T's, John Stevenson, the former head of the committee. First, I want to take you to James Ramsbotham, who's chairman of the trustees of the DLI, and he's with us on BBC T's. James, good morning to you. Good morning. Hi, just explain, first of all, what new ways of showing the artefacts are going to be used, and I guess why this is better than what's been offered previously. Well, for a number of reasons. First of all, last Thursday, we opened a new exhibition on the Somme, uh, which is in Palace Green Library, um, right up in the heart of Durham, which is, of course, such a key part for the regiment. The regiment formed up so many times on parade, colours parades and new colours on Palace Green, um, and with the various other things that, that we've got around the centre of Durham, because we put up a wonderful new statue to the regiment in Durham Marketplace two years ago, um, and with the DLI Chapel and the DLI Memorial Garden and the various war mem uh, memorials around Durham Cathedral. So to now have an exhibition site um, also in the centre of Durham where so many visitors come. And later in the year we will be opening a permanent exhibition uh, also in Palace Green Library. And then in future years we will have the opportunity to put on um, a number of new exhibitions so that we can find ways of telling the DLI story in a fresh and exciting way each and every year to bring people back and back. Okay. Because the current museum is is a wonderful um, number of exhibits, but because we've spent so much money, or are we, the, the county council, have had to spend so much money just on maintaining, on securing, on insuring and manning that building, we haven't been able to spend the money on the collection and being able to display it in a way that really tells the story in uh, today's terms, so that today people can go and understand the great regiment that was the DLI and everything that they stood for, but G we will be able to in the future. James, the museum's closed. You, you well know was opposed by many what would you say to them because the, the reality is they feel let down by this don't they Yes, they do, but I think that when they see what is actually going to happen going forwards, that they will become increasingly comfortable with the way that we're going to be able to do things. And what they don't see is, is also the, the, the sort of other parts of it, because in the basement of that museum, we've got the vast majority of the collection, which never sees the light of day, and indeed is held in conditions which is not conducive to helping it be maintained for future generations. But what we've now agreed with the County Council, and I think we should be actually very grateful to the County Council, because in many other parts of the country, military museums are closing. Okay. Um, of course, recently, the Bead Museum um, was... was closed yeah. as well. Um, county councils are struggling to maintain these things and Durham County Council have actually uh, put into place some superb new storage facilities which allows us to preserve these artefacts for future generations in a way that we couldn't and also increasingly to display items that we haven't been able to bring to the public gaze in recent decades but will be able to in the future. Thank you James. Uh, I just just uh, hang on, just have a listen and see what uh, John says because John Stevenson, I mentioned there's the former Head of the, the committee's live with me on BBC Tees. Hi, John. Morning. You just heard a few of the points there from James Ramsbotham. Do, do you want to pick up on a couple of them about uh, you know the money's not been available for the collection? They want to display it for today's audiences, and a lot of that collection has been put in storage. I'd just like to correct one inaccuracy if I may. First of all, the Bead Museum was threatened with closure. The council actually stepped in and saved it. It's not closing. Okay. Bead World remains open. All right. So do slightly, you want to slightly inaccurate. In relation to the money for the collection and everything else, when you sit and examine the costs, the proposed costs by Durham County Council, I'd like James or Neil Foster or anybody else to explain to me how it stacks up. Seven Hill is where the collection, the bulk of the collection will be stored. The running costs for that building in the coming year will be 588000 That includes some of the education departments, some of the libraries as well, of course. There's an initial 175000 payment to Palace Green for Museum Quarterly Cabinet. And there's a seventy thousand pounds per cost uh, per annum cost at Seven Hills for staffing. So in your eyes, the figures simply don't stack up, do they? It's impossible. On top of that, you've got a contracted price between Durham University and Durham County Council, with some trustee involvement, for the rental of two rooms of Palace Green. That cost hasn't be re been released yet. It will be substantial. The current museum 
is a museum where you can see the collection, you can see the story of the DLI. The some exhibition has a small portion attributed to the DLI, using some of the DLI exhibits. It's not about the DLI, it's about Durham during the Somme. It's not about the DLI regiment during okay. the Somme. Entry price to that is £25 for a family of four. Entry price to the museum is £11 for a family of four. Initially, it was sta- the prices would be the same. Any temporary exhibitions would be the same entry price as the current museum prices. They've more than doubled. There's a lot of issues clearly there, but t- today being the last day, do you, do you plan some form of protest or, or dispute today? What What is the plan? The plan today is to go to the museum and we will have a, a fitting closure for the DLI regiment. What do you mean, uh, a fitting uh, closure? What do you mean by that? There won't be any form of protest at right. all. That's not what this group is about today. This group is about showing respect to the former regiment members, to the family members that will be there who have ashes scattered in the grounds at the current site. But a sad day in your eyes, John, is it? Very, very, very sad day. I would hope in the future a replacement can be found. Now that the Durham plan has been thrown out of the window, the land shouldn't even be needed, so who knows, that museum may re over. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. We appreciate your time uh, this morning as well. John Stevenson, former head of uh, that committee, you also heard from James Ramsbotham, uh, who is chairman of the trustees at the DLI Museum.